Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. For the next couple of videos, I'm going to be talking about Amazon. That's right. If you know me, you know that I'm a champion of independent brands, especially brands by black women and women of color from the UK. The reality of being in lockdown is that many of us have not been able to access our hairdressers and we've had to resort to services like Amazon Prime because we've basically become DIY hairdressers. And so with that in mind, I thought that I would talk about five amazing hair tools and equipment that I have found useful that I have purchased from Amazon. Before I go into my countdown of five items, I'm going to discuss a couple of items that you might have seen in these YouTube streets that I personally don't rate and I'll tell you why. So the first item is this sort of detangling comb. It's a little bit dirty because I'll have used it myself. You'll see lots of these in Roundup videos. I don't like them. I think they snug hair. I think that it's very difficult to comb your hair when your hair is dry. I mean, usually you're supposed to use them when your hair is wet, but I think a good product should work across the board. I'm going to invest and get the original Felicia Leatherwood brush when I can, but in the meantime, I don't rate these. I have thin 4C hair. Basically, if there's a category that was 4D, my hair would be 4D, but I just don't think that this brush helped me. The second item is this sort of scalp scrubby thing, which you'll have seen in lots of videos. Again, I don't rate them. I think that they don't give you the relief that you need, and I find with my hair, they just tangle my hair more. That is a no for me. And then the next item are these sort of shower cups that you're meant to put in the microwave and then you put them on your head when you have your deep conditioner in. I don't think that they're effective. I found it quite uncomfortable to wear. So another item that I don't rate. Moving on to items that I actually rate, these pink crocodile clips. They do what they say on the tin. I'm just going to drop some examples and images in the videos that you can see. What I love about them is they don't snag the hair, they do what they're supposed to do, which is to keep your hair in place. For me, as my natural hair has grown, I've just gotten to the point where I have to like wrangle and wrestle with them. And so you need good clips to do that. I've tried lots of different ones, the ones you get from Boots, the ones you get from elsewhere. These are my favorite. And I also like the fact that they are pink, which means that they're really easy to find. I'm going to drop all the links in the description box below and I'll put the prices as well. In terms of cost, these were really affordable. I think they were something like £5.97 and I believe I got, how many do I have here? Five, six. I think I got six or seven in the pack. So basically what you need to cover the whole of your head. The next item on my list is a really good microfiber towel and I'm gonna share the ones that I use so these are the ones that I use what I love about these is they're so soft they wrap around the head so well they don't leak any water they have the same effect as when you dry your hair with a t-shirt which many of us do obviously to maintain the integrity of our strands so these are really good I absolutely love them I found them really useful uh, while I've done my hair at home so I thought I would share that so they are 12 pounds and I'm gonna drop the link in the description box below so the next item is a little bit random and if you want to laugh at me that's fine just put the emojis in the comment box below but it is this sort of towel robe thing and I'm gonna drop an image of me standing on a chair so that you can actually see what it is but it's basically like a head to toe towel. And the reason why I bought it is because I got so fed up of that feeling of when you've wrapped your towel, you're trying to put your conditioner in, the towel keeps coming loose, or you know your hair is dripping and you're trying to style your hair and it's just getting on your clothes. And the whole thing, I was just like, no, I just want another solution. So I got this massive big towel robe and what I do after I wash my hair, I put it straight on and then I do my whole wash day styling in it and it's so comfortable it's huge so there's so much space it obviously the whole of it is absorbent towel material so you can use the hoodie to dry up you can use the hoodie to dry your neck when you're in the steamer you can use it to mop your brow i just find it such a useful helpful thing it's one of the best things that i've bought for wash day so i know it's slightly random but i love it and it just means also that if I'm doing something like a mud mask or if I'm using a deep conditioner that has color in it, I don't get that on my white towels. It costs about 25 pounds. I think it was 24.99. I'm gonna put the link in the description box below. I almost bought a yellow one because I wanted to be on brand, but at the end of the day, practicality to priority. So I went for a gray one and I'm really happy with it. I think these originally are meant to be like beach robes, so when you go to the beach, you have like a towel thing, but it also means that you can get changed underneath because it's so spacious and it has a hole 
where you can put your hands in if you want to like loosen your belt and it has a pocket where you can put stuff in so it's just a really great useful random thing and i will probably take it with me on holiday the remaining two items it was so tricky for me to pick which one was going to be my number one but on balance i would say let me just get it i've just gotten the head bit of it the second item on my list is my steamer i absolutely love this it took me a long time to actually get one i think this one costs something like 120 pounds i'll put the exact amount in the description box below but i just got to a stage where my head needed a lot more deep conditioning than sitting in the bath with a shower cap like i said the microwave cap didn't really work for me and i'd always wanted a steamer but i didn't have i don't have a lot of space in my flat and i wanted something that i can dismantle and put together quite quickly very easy to set up you plonk the thing in you fill it in with water you turn it on and you just wait for it to steam up and then you put your head under the steamer as you would in a hair salon the instructions say that you should use a shower cup in it to be honest that just doesn't work for me i need my actual head under the thing so that the steam hits my strand straight away and it just does the job it's meant to be so follow the instructions if you prefer i'm just telling you for me personally i don't wear a shower cap i just put my head in under directly and i find that to be a lot more effective it's easy to store away you just put all of the bits in a box it also has an extension which looks slightly rude which is meant to be a facial steamer i've never used that i probably never will but it's a good product and I highly, highly rate it. So that brings me to the item that I was most excited to buy and the item that I have found to be so useful. And that is this Revlon hair brush thingy ma thingy. It has two heat settings. It's really loud when you put it on. Doesn't matter because it is such a good tool. I found, like I said, as my hair has gotten longer, it's become really unruly and I just needed something to manage my hair with a little bit of heat but not too much you don't get that feeling of like your hair is burning which you get sometimes with other hair tools something about the brush that just makes it so easy to use and so quick to use so like today i straightened my hair in something like 30 minutes which using the old school pick blow dryer it just wouldn't cut it and you know what it's like with those picks you know the the prongs get broken and it's just all ratchet and a mess but this i love this i think is a good tool i bought it as a gift for other people i highly recommend it it came in at about 30 pounds which i think is really well priced I'm extremely happy with this purchase it saved my butt in lockdown i found it so useful and so helpful so this is the top of my list so there you have it five of my most useful tools from amazon for natural 4c hair as you know on janet's list in every video on this channel we do a shout out on brands by black women and women of color from the uk rather than picking on one brand i'm just going to take you to the janet's list hair list because all of the brands on this list are amazing whether you're looking for shampoos deep conditioners curling custards you know we've got it all so i'm gonna drop the links in the description box below take a look i'm also keen to hear what tools that you bought from amazon that you found really useful for managing your 4c natural hair so let me know in the comments below that's it for this video there's more where that came from so if you want to watch the next video i'll put the links in there and i shall see you in the next video